Oh, someone's going to ka -ching. No, oh. it's uh, just for you. Mid-season sale. Yay. Nice. <laughs> How like? uh, oh, and well, we, a notification. We are live. Away. Look at that. You got a notification that we're live? Yeah. Well, you should know you're in it. I know. And I got one as well. Sometimes you don't get them straight away. No. You don't get them when we actually go. Now, there's the ka-ching. Oh, every time, I swear. I'm not sure if you've been in a live with Carla. She ka -chings like a mad woman. She finds that is my only ka -ching of the day so far. I was starting to think I was dead. All right, we'll let you off then. Good timing. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. Uh, we are live, by the way, guys, um, to our regular Tuesday chat chat. Um, we don't really have a subject, but we do have, as the title was, who's bloody ka -ching Is that Carla? Me. Sorry, Kill that was me. them paying. <laughs> No, no, it's fine. It's it's good. <laughs> I'll turn um, the volume up. As you yeah. would have heard by the multiple kachings, we have Carla with us. How are you, my dear? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Good. Yes, and we have Andrea, which is unusual. Andrea on a Tuesday. <laughs> Changed to my nanny day, so <laughs> I'm here on a Tuesday now. Do you want to explain that with more words? That well, sounds I'm weird. Go to visit my nan once a week, and it used to be a Tuesday, but now it's a Thursday. So. Yeah. And so here is with us. How are you? Hi, everybody. Yeah, just um doing some Amazon, man. Ooh. Oh, everybody. So, ooh, what, what's happened there? Have we lost Carla? No, no, we... Carla froze then. Oh, no, she's still there. Yeah, you, you guys froze for me a moment ago, so I don't know quite what the issue is. Oh, stream issues. I don't know. You're very soft focus. <laughs> That's deliberate. It's made, it made me look better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. So, Does that help now? That just plunges me into darkness. Oh, well, that's even worse. Yeah, you just, yeah. Darkness doesn't help. That's fine. That works. <laughs> I'll try and look sharper. <laughs> we can see you. So, <laughs> if you are new to uh, the channel or these chats, um, we are all resellers. Um, we buy and sell stuff, and that's how we earn money. And we chat about it on YouTube. It's as simple as that. Uh, this is a regular show, uh, which at the moment is revolving between my channel here and Zahir's channel. Um, there is a live side chat if you want to get involved. There are a bunch of people in there. Uh, first in today was Bum Crack Picker. I'm just going to turn this fan heater off. It's got cold down here recently. Uh, Bum Crack Picker, Peter Ray, Adrian, Mr. Diggs is in, George Ross, Lincoln Seller. Lots of regulars, so welcome. Ray is in. I'm going to scroll down. Russell, hi there. Nathan. So welcome, everybody. There's Derek, Tap Paddler, and Richard. Donkey, that's a new name. Hi, Donkey. And Ricky, all sorts of people. So as you may have seen from the title, um, Zahir and I have had mystery presents. Now, the very kind chap who sent them, well, I say he's a kind chap. I haven't opened it yet. I've got no idea. <laughs> Um, should be in the chat. Um, so, yeah, we thought we'd open them live. So this, this could backfire because we have no idea what we've been sent. But they've come from... Where have they come from, Zahir? Do you, do you Denmark. know? Denmark. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Andrea, if it's ticking, perhaps you might like to move on. I had a listen earlier. It's not ticking. Jolly good. <laughs> yeah. Always my first thing. Check if it's ticking. And uh, hopefully it's not a seven moment either. <laughs> yeah. well, um, while Nick's running for his knife, can I just point out that Steve said he's doing a live after this where he will be showing everybody what's in Lex's box. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got to see that. <laughs> we'll all be there, Steve. That's, that's an invitation we cannot turn down. So, do you want to uh, do you want to kick off to here? See what uh, see what you got, or shall I start? Opening yeah, up? why not? Like, why not just open it up? Okay, so this is the box received. Um, it's got a bit of dog hair on it now, but that's Alf's fault. Um, you said Denmark. Yeah, Denmark. I'm pretty sure it's Denmark. Kenneth, I think I saw him in chat. Kenneth, Kenneth was in the. We did a live pop quiz it, the other night. Kenneth, through, I, I saw his the name. same Kenneth, I isn't it? Don't wave your knife at me. <laughs> it's the same Kenneth um, who was on fire with the pop quiz questions and he won the pop quiz. I'm pretty sure yep. it's the same Kenneth, isn't it? Ken Kenneth Christensen, yeah. 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 I don't yeah. see him in the side chat yet. He did I, say I he's going to try and be here. He said, he said, I think he said, yeah, hi. I think he said hi. Ah. I'm pretty sure I saw. Yeah. Peter Cummings is guessing it's either Lego or bacon, and I think it might be Lego wrapped in bacon. I could handle that. 
Let go, wraps in bacon. <laughs> I should have gotten like um something to cut this with, shouldn't I? Really? Hold on. Yeah, it's well packaged. You it's well packaged. It might, it might be easier. Hold on, one second. Oh, there's oh Kenneth is in the chat. He said he's there, but he's got to go 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 and eat soon. Hi, Kenneth. Got to go and eat soon. All right. Well, bacon. We shouldn't be too long, but you packaged it fairly well. Right, I'm through layer ones here. Oh no, I'm not. I'm nowhere in there. So. I'm going to use my scissors. I don't know if they're going to be the same. We have not been pre-warned. We have no clue. We, we shouldn't do... The thing is, in the future, I'm not sure if I'd do this. What, live? Yeah. I We're setting I can ourselves see up. sniffing through his, uh, through, through his headphone lead any minute now. <laughs> no, 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 no. That would be bad. <laughs> okay, I've got to a letter. Shall I, shall I read? Well, I'll yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, dear Nick and Andrea... Here's a little mystery box for you guys. So that's for you as well. Um, the reason why I'm sending this to you is simple because I just want to show my appreciation uh, for your videos and help that you give to me and others. You're an inspiration to me. And I just want to thank you guys with this little box. So what's in the box? That's what he says. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, since I'm from Denmark, I filled the box with Danish snacks and candy. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, fantastic. Hence, oh yeah, are they vegan? We'll find out. Hence why um, you messaged me and said, put it in the fridge. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell is going on? No, it didn't fit in the fridge. We had to put it outside. We put it outside. Luckily, it's cold. Um, before you guys start, take the three beverages in the bottom of the box and put them in the fridge. They are to be enjoyed cold. Well, it's been outside, so yeah. yeah. See you on the live chat on your next live stream. Best wishes and kind regards from Kenneth Christensen. I even got a little picture. Oh, cool. Very dapper. So I don't know if you've got the same selection. Of yep, it's the same. Yeah, there's a here and back mystery box. Yep. Um, it's amazing. Yeah, Danish snacks and candy. Right. Um, three drinks. I'm sure we will enjoy those later, actually. Oh, Beck and I will have some drinks. Have you ever seen Margaret doing a little munch pack thing where they try them? We could do a, we could do a quick bit of that. Oh, well, I might not be a well, Let's just have a quick look. look. Well, they, I, I had this, like, tucked in in one of the flaps. That sounds wrong. <laughs> yeah. I had some, mar it was some marzipan. <laughs> some wow, Anthony Kenneth. Berg marzipan. This is cool. And I can't even pronounce half this stuff, although. Uh, we've got um, Tres Dama. Kenneth, you can tell me if I butchered that. S Snuffler. Ooh. Oh, that's you gotta have some of that. Snuffler. Everyone needs some snuffler. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> oh wow. Sorry, Carla, it's, you're so far away. I'd share them with you, but you... no problem. I think I can be with you in about an hour and a half. I right, check check this out. Go on. <laughs> Flaskus have. Uh... This says, it says offer. No, underneath. <laughs> oh my word! I don't. I don't think we have those. That, 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 like salted holly, a holly bar. Oh, cool. There's tons in here. You're oh, way too kind. Oh, here's the drink. Yeah. yeah. We have Bax Condi. Bax Condi. Uh, hey, there's some skill padder there. Skilled padder. This is like walking around IKEA. Yeah, yeah, it, is, it, is, it sounds it is, like it IKEA is. furniture. Oh, this is lager, isn't it? Pilsner, Tuborg. I've heard of Tuborg before. Mm. And then Kokio, Co classic chocolate milk. Well, one for you. So, I this one looks like a sip. In a can? Yeah. Well, I can't eat, can't drink chocolate milk. It is milk. chocolate milk, oh. yeah. I think Ellen will have the chocolate milk. I, I won't be able to Yeah, but from it. a can? That's so... <laughs> That's so weird. But oh, well, Toxic do producers are diabetes, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> the lager's getting opened. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. And apparently, oh, Marmite yeah. is banned in Denmark. Is that? I feel that's an excellent plan. It should be banned everywhere. Marmite? Yeah, apparently so. Chocolate fan? Oh. Is that a chocolate elephant? It's a bit of a strange shape of an elephant. It's just the trunk. Ah, that makes sense. There is loads in here. 
We might have to. Should we do one of the? Oh, I see. You can't eat ninety percent of this. No, no. So we can't really do like Margaret and Randy do, where where they try it all. That's a chocolate Den Rundle. What on earth? Looks like a football. If anything's dark chocolate, then I might be. Like yeah, you, Yankee original. That looks kind of like a Mars bar. Yeah. Like the the, the um. Oh yeah, I've got one. Of <laughs> yeah, Den. Den original Yankee bar sit in 1946. Yeah, I like how they they're quite um keen to show how long they've been making chocolate for on each of the packets. Like they they're very date based. Oh, I found just the for the though. benefit of people who are just wandering in and wondering what's going on, Nick and Andrea and Zahir and Bex have received boxes from Kenneth Christensen in the chat of um, Danish goodies for them to try. Oh, so here's a brand new box. Look, a Haribo. Yeah, that's what I just picked up. But they look like um, those little Pontefract. And they licorice Haribo or something. Those are pirates. Yeah. Super pirate. I think. <laughs> was it Pontefract cakes they used to make licorice little things? Yeah. I saw them. Super pirates. Wow, Kenneth. Oh, there's also oh. some chalk. Some <laughs> chalk. I've got to say, it's just humbling. It is uh, it's so kind of you, Kenneth. It's just yeah. Don't try and eat that. Just, wow. <laughs> I don't think it is chalk. Wow, that is epic. It's humbling, isn't it? Really, it really. I know it's just like That's awesome. Yeah, to, for someone to enjoy that. Yeah. I don't think I could coax Ellen on to do a tasting video. I could try, but it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> People are recommending you say tuck to Kenneth, which I believe means thank you. I hope it doesn't mean anything rude. <laughs> well, I mean, it, this cho this Choco fan says Uden gelatine. I don't know whether that means with or without, but it might be. I wouldn't say they'd brag about it. It might be yeah, without. Yeah, you wouldn't boast that they all look. This yeah. has got gelatine in it, would you? Yeah. That, yeah. that might it's be worth it. Yeah, we'll yeah that one's. Um... What does Uden mean in Danish? Okay. That's what we will translate out. So what was it? Tack. Tack, mm. Kenneth. Tack, Kenneth. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the thought. Um, awesome. We will enjoy that. That's well, Ellen fun. and I will enjoy That's most fun. of it. Yeah, it says without. That's without. The Choco fan is without Danish. Yeah, uh, but is chocolate without milk? Without <laughs> gelatin. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? We might be able to do a lot. If we figure out a few bits that you yeah, can eat, maybe. we might be able to do a live we'll, show and we'll, we'll try we'll the, look at the ingredients and yeah. see if there's anything that that's like dark chocolate that doesn't yeah you know, doesn't and then we can try the uh the sweets from denmark well i know what i'm gonna be eating for the next few days mm. <laughs> i'm just gonna keep this next to me <laughs> so we'll uh, be on a sugar rush <laughs> uh, I, apart from that, that, can i try a taste of your beer yeah you can have some beer yeah. um the other thing i wanted to um mention uh, before we move on, although we don't have a subject, so we'll just waffle, um, is unless you've been in a cave or you haven't been following the channels recently, you'll know we've been doing uh, a big charity event to raise funds for Cancer Research and Macmillan, which has just been wildly successful, way beyond what Tom and I ever imagined. So to finish that off, we're running a raffle. Um, thanks to the idea, Carla. And that has that's now underway. You can purchase tickets. All the information is on the Facebook, the reseller charity Facebook page. What have we called it? Reseller auction auction page. The link for which I think I forgot to put below. Reseller charity auction. Yes, search that on Facebook and you'll find it. We've sold before. Well, a couple of hours ago when I last checked, we'd sold uh, fifty three tickets. That's one hundred and six pounds worth. So that's going really well. Two pounds a ticket. There's some great stuff on offer. Now, so here I believe your RC car is up for raffling. Um, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Because um, Shazad paid like a hundred quid for it, and then then said, "I don't want it." Um, yeah. so, so you yeah. know, he's so, like, "What am I going to do in the RC car?" It is well worth, even if you just buy a handful of tickets, because you've got a great chance of winning a prize. There's I don't know how many prizes there. Oh, do you want to pass a couple just in case okay. people haven't seen these bits before? Uh, the super, no, not the super, the Nes Mini, which is brand new and sealed, uh, which again was one and then put straight back in to be raffled off. So that's a great prize. There's our sign that we never ended up using, You Keep Calm, I'll Drink Wine, which is a really nice vintage looking metal sign, solid metal sign. Uh, the remaining four Furbies, which doesn't include the one which is going to die soon. 
Ah, oh. so there's these three in the baby one, and Sue's silver bracelet, which was kindly redonated back to the raffle. There's uh, other stuff. Kirsten's tray. Yep. <coughs> Sorry, Kirsten's uh, silver tray. There is um, Star Wars micro machines. There's a Yankee candle, which is really cool. And George donated something new. Oh. It's a big Wally plush. Oh, cool. There's all sorts of gear. So, yeah, if you want to get involved, uh, two pounds a ticket. You can just donate two pounds. You can donate a tenner, which most people have been doing to get five. And, yeah, we will draw that live on Friday. It's going to have to be Friday because Saturday is Ellen's birthday party. So, yeah, we'll be slightly busy. Yeah. Although you did forget that yeah. originally. Yeah, mm. completely. <laughs> so there you go right i'm done <laughs> <laughs> did make me laugh that you put on facebook uh, won't be here saturday now uh, uh, as it's now ellen's birthday as though as though she decided suddenly i'll have one now <laughs> it, it's been planned for a while he just never remembers any date I, I go from week to week not knowing what day of the week it is so yeah that's not unusual for me i think that's a working from home thing isn't it you have you don't have the same structure to your week that other people have when they when they work on a set pattern so yeah, yeah. the days do tend to merge into one sort of blur for me yeah. yeah other people go oh it's the weekend and i'm like yeah that's my busiest time <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's part of the reason why like it's pretty sounds a bit mad but we're now waking up at 5 a.m every morning does sound um, a bit mad yeah, I thought it might, but yeah, Beck and I've been waking up 5 a.m. and like to take Alf out for a walk and just get our day started, and it just feels really good. It just so isn't it about same. 10 past bedtime now, is it here? Um, do you know what? <laughs> about 9 o'clock, naturally, you just want to go to sleep for some reason. <laughs> so I can't complain, um, even when I try to stay up. But it's just, I think, just for that reason, just to add a bit of structure. Um, it's been something we've been doing, just and it, it's kind of working out nicely. <laughs> It's, um, oh, it's one of Santa's naughty elves. Oh, Tom, hey, how are you doing? Hello, hello. It's the hustle elf. No, this is uh, got a hustle for that Brussels. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, all right, that is a good t-shirt. Hang on, let me highlight some hustle for that Brussels. And, and, and it's got like Brussels. a chain on it as well. Yeah, and, and this... Yeah. And this, guys, is one of the prizes in the raffle. So oh, that, if, if you needed any reason to join the raffle, I mean, forget the other prizes. For me, that's now the number one prize, surely. That's that, it, that's the one. That's got to be it. The others are good side prizes, but wow. <laughs> so are you wearing that because of the whole Dwayne thing? Are you, are you yeah, yeah, Dwayne? yeah. Okay, right, fair enough. I don't, I don't have to see in. I've given up on the uh, Christmas jumper thing, so this will have to do. I I think it's still very um, festive. Yeah. yeah. Um, Marcella asks, will you have a deadline for buying raffle tickets so donations have time to process and numbers allotted? Um, yeah, we should probably say get your donations in by Thursday night. Um, we, I mean, we could take donations right up until we go live. But like you say, sometimes the processing um, period is quite long, so we may not see your donation come in. Mm -hmm. um, so if, but if you get it done by Thursday night, I will go through everything and I will allocate numbers um, before the Friday live. The Friday live, we're thinking is going to be eight, uh, which works for us. And Tom should be able to join us. Um, and we have a we have a random number generator. Do you want to show how that works oh, on your yeah. phone? So we'll be able to do it live. And we'll all see the random number generated. And then if that's your number, you will win whichever prize. Or shall we say you pick? I don't know. What do you reckon, guys? Shall we say these are all the prizes? First winner is so-and-so. What do you want? Well, they might not be live with us, though. Yeah, yeah I, think you, I think you're going to have, have to allocate prizes. Yeah. OK, so we'll just go down the list of prizes. If your number comes up, you win a T-shirt, a Nes Mini, a, whatever it is. So, Unless yeah. you do a random number generator number the prizes I don't, mm, yeah, well, i've done that in the past as well number the prizes and then you do a random number generator for the prize and then a, another one for the winning ticket i've done that mm. that's just an extra step mm. that do we need to take if, if we know which prize is going and then we randomly generate the winner that probably works what do you reckon <laughs> well you, you can be in charge of the number quite oh do you want to show how it works yeah. then so basically um you can put in a max number there 
and then you just press randomize and it comes up with a random number 94. Mm. Nice. That doesn't count. Have to keep a note of which numbers have already won because the next time that you generate it will still include the number that has yeah, yeah. already been used up so to speak yeah i thought of that so obviously if your number is drawn again we'll disregard it and we'll carry on the same number can't win twice so that is going to be as simple as that basically so you have the chance of winning some prizes that are worth a fair chunk of cash for a tiny donation potentially so yeah get involved if you haven't already um Sib yeah. sibby sibby bang bang is asking could you pick if you are live like so are you going to be allocating um like how are you going to allocate what prizes people win i mean i was just going to work yeah. down the list but okay. is, is sib saying if we're live and win can we pick, pick. yeah that's what i think he's asking i feel that that would be unfair to anyone who isn't able to watch at yeah. the time don't you yeah and um donkey says how do we donate paypal no it's there are there's two links uh to the uh charities um that you'll be that you can donate directly to the charity i i'm in my haste i forgot to put the links down there but if you go over to the uh touch Act group or just search reseller charity auction on mm -hmm. facebook you should find it and all the links that you need are there there are two charity just giving pages um and you just make a donation there as long as your donation is divisible by two because the tickets or the numbers are two pounds each so you can donate two pounds you could donate 20 for one or 10 tickets if you understand what i mean so yeah simples yeah so lisa asked two questions am i have i got new new glasses no i don't but thank you um um and the second question was basically what you just answered how do you add oh, no it wasn't how do you add account numbers it was um that was someone else's question it was you'll have to go back because i can't actually see oh no who do we pay for tickets but you just answered that you go to the link you yes. donate um effectively you make a donation to the charity for tickets you're not paying anyone as such you're making a donation and what you have to do, so go over to the charity pages, just make sure your name is visible so we know who has donated and say, this is for raffle tickets. Otherwise it will just go through as a donation. I have been collating everybody that's donated and adding them sequential numbers. So currently uh, Nicola was the last person who donated. She donated 10 pounds and she now has numbers 49 through to 53, for example. And then on the night, we'll just randomly generate numbers on Andrew's phone. You've got to make sure as well that people don't put their donation as anonymous and also their name as like their name, if that makes yeah. sense. So we, um, you know, who are. Exactly. So don't make it an anonymous donation. Make sure your name is clearly visible so we can see it and that you would like raffle tickets. I've posted yeah. the just giving links in the chat as well for anyone oh. who's live. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Well done, Tom. Yeah, so the links are now in the side chat, so you can pop over there and do it now if you want. Make sure to make your name and your the fact that it's for the raffle. Excuse me, the beer is repeating. Uh, clearly visible. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Anything else we need to talk about for that? I don't think so. Oh, again, um, don't worry about postage. Uh, I'll be shipping all these items out free of charge to the winners. Um, if you do win in the raffle, uh contact me and i'll pass on details to the person that has the item job job yeah so how are you doing tom Didn't really yeah know. yeah all good yeah just uh, busy busy so uh, the time got away with me today so uh, i've been knee deep in fba stuff so there's like you can't see it but there's like a million books and stuff all around me down here so yeah is that Christmas stuff? Books are yeah. books sound very Christmas. Well, no, Christmas, but some of this stuff is like new books, so it's like Christmas fodder in that sense. And then I'm trying to get any cosmetics and that sort of stuff. Any toys, just get it out, get it get it up there, ASAP. Yeah, Amazon kicked off for us. It's doing some days two, three times as much as eBay, which is great. Um, and our loft is half empty now, which is uh, mm. quite good. novel. Time to Mine's go <laughs> yeah, mine is as well. We've got wasps in here, and then you guys have got wasps in your loft. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. I think it might be the um, the strange weather that's that's upsetting them. 
I think, you know, it gets warmer, so they go, oh, look, it's time to get up again, and then it gets cold, so they get confused. Well, mine are all sort of sleeping nicely in my bubble wrap, so I went up there to get some more <laughs> bubble wrap, and can you imagine if you sold some of it, wrapped it all up, and someone opens it up, surprise, there's wasps in your <laughs> parcel. Free wasp with every purchase. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. How about yourself, Carlo? Are you busy? Do you change anything for Christmas with the way you do things? No, nothing at all. Um, I do. I don't do Amazon. I think. I think Amazon makes a big difference in Q4, doesn't it? That those of you who do Amazon, I think Q4 is a, a really big focus time for you guys. But because I don't do it, and because I don't hold back stuff to list on eBay at different times of year because I don't have the space. I need. If if it's going to be stored, it has to be listed so that hopefully it'll keep moving. So. Um, so yeah, I don't do anything differently. If anything, my Q4 is usually a lower sales period rather than a rather than a spike, because I sell a lot of secondhand clothing and it's not something that sells a lot at this time of year. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, I will be coming around to eat your Danish food because I won't be able to buy it for any of my own soon. <laughs> you are very welcome. We'll come up and have a sweetie party if you like. <laughs> Claire Plant says, would it help if people add their YouTube or Facebook name when they donate for raffle tickets? Yeah. Um, Facebook name <laughs> is where it will be easier to track down who you are on Facebook. Um, so, yeah, that would be handy. And there was some FBA sort of question. Yeah, uh, Dave Rowland had one. Uh, Sean, question, what happens to your FBA stock that doesn't sell? Well, you can, you can, if it doesn't sell through Christmas, you can leave it there and hope that it does sell at some point. The trouble with that is we are charged monthly and yearly storage fees. Mm -hmm. uh, and if stuff is left up there a long time, it can get expensive. So you don't really want stuff to stay up there. So I tend to try and only send stuff up these days that I'm pretty sure is going to sell and sell fast, hopefully. Um, but after Christmas, I tend to reduce prices down and get rid of stuff. You do have the option of having it sent back to you at your cost. So mm -hmm. that's another expense. So, yeah, there's a lot of things to think about. What are your and, thoughts on that? And topic? you can pay to have it destroyed as well. Well, they say destroyed, but it's basically Amazon then tries to sell it. So the, if you ever see something, it's called where Amazon Warehouse Deals. That's normally what that is. That's astonishing, isn't it? You pay them to give them your stuff for them to sell. Yep. Yeah. That is, I mean, I mean, they've plainly got a very keen business sense there because that's simply an astonishing sentence isn't it they've got the glove ready and they're <laughs> gonna get you yeah uh, amazon kind of get you by the short curlies don't they and and after a while it feels like they're just continually just like slapping you from behind it's like <laughs> making money bitch it's like yeah yeah um dave roland's got a question uh so it was sort of a question or a statement saying I'm still in two thoughts with Amazon FBA this year. Too much negativity for new and sealed and DVDs. But yeah, I can yeah, agree with that in a sense. You've got to be be a bit ruthless when dealing with it because you've got to kind of be like, okay, it's a cost of business if someone's opened something and returned it and they've got the money back and you've got a used item now. So I think you've got to be a bit cold sometimes, otherwise it'll just get to you. I mean, I've bought loads of um, like ex FBA stock from auctions and stuff, um, where you know people have. I'm guessing Amazon send it out in pallets to auctions, and I, I know it's quite a big thing over in America where people buy like FBA returns as 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 a as a way of just running their business. So they'll just buy stuff that customers have either sent back or supposedly has been destroyed and it does end up getting recycled and resold i think the trick really is, is is like nick mentioned try to make sure that whatever you're sending up there um you know is likely to sell and and sell within a reasonable time frame um and that's especially since these changes i think there was a time before where you could use them as your personal warehouse and just send up as much as you like there were no charges for it being up there per individual item uh, and obviously since they've introduced this this short term and like the, the sorry the long term storage fees it's really affected some people especially some booksellers that used to have um you know a heavy amount of inventory up there so now i'm like I'm happy to send in higher value stuff and maybe pay a little bit of storage fee on it if I know there's plenty of margin for it to maybe 
you know them take that cut out and then when it sells to still make money but you've got to still be quite careful and and there's enough tools out there to help you um you know uh realize whether an item sells or not so yeah it's well worth doing your research before sending anything in and thinking is it worth sending and and be quite cold and analytical like zahir was saying about exactly that but going back to the dvd thing i've been listing today this stack over here um of sealed stuff there's a load i've just listed there it was all destined to go to amazon and i bought it on the strength of the amazon prices and then i was restricted along with pretty much everyone else and it's all got to go on ebay now but i'm taking a huge hit on what i expected to make on it mm. for that which is really frustrating but yeah the, the, i mean not to bash them too much but they are the masters of moving the goalposts i know ebay has been had a lot of that recently where they you know they've all of a sudden changed the app and ruined it um that sort of thing but yeah you do get it a lot with amazon all of a sudden oh you can't sell cds and you know you may have bought two thousand of them or something and you screwed so yeah i think i said to somebody in the chat when they brought in this gating of the cds and dvds that that surely that there must be some some kind of legality whereby if they have changed the rules they should not be allowed to charge you to return the stock that was legitimately sent to them i mean i'm not a lawyer but that strikes well, me carla, as carla this will make you laugh when when i first when we first moved up here we decided to do a little bit of amazon stock you know buying uh for q4 and we went to an auction and picked up some stuff and we bought a fair amount sent it into amazon um it was, it was a lot of units it was like um and we sent it into Amazon and then all of a sudden, like we were waiting for Q4 to kick in. We're like, oh, oh, cause we'd priced it sell at Q4 rather than sell it super cheap before then where there was lots of other competition. But before we could even get to Q4, uh, there was a change in policy, which meant like Star Wars, Disney, certain lines became restricted. It was only a temporary thing. Cause then it yeah. seems to have unrestricted, but it became restricted. So all of a sudden, we had stacks of inventory that we'd spent a lot of money on that was just showing as unavailable somewhere at Amazon. So not only did we have to pay to get that stuff back per unit, when we got it back, it was just damaged to hell. But luckily, we managed to argue that they damaged all this inventory. And they actually ended up paying us twice for it. So yeah. we did OK out of it. But not by you know not on purpose not through any help from amazon it was just yeah you were lucky yeah, yeah. Just lucky. Actually, it, it, it seems mm. to me to be blatant profiteering by not fulfilling the contractual obligations that they that they set up when they allowed you to send stuff up there maybe i should be a lawyer <laughs> it's just probably in their contract that they may remove yeah. your right to sell in any yeah, category any at any point but yeah they, again that's so, fine yeah. but they should not then be allowed to charge you for the return of the goods probably if they have removed your right probably to sell in their thing isn't it and we can yeah. charge you know what I mean? i'm pretty sure that they've got the, the best lawyers around it's all yeah. written that basically says and a little bit at the bottom says basically we can screw you over you have no right to reply and no recourse and then he'll just say that at the bottom yeah, and, the, and, no the, de and, and the delivery taking. driver can help himself to something out of your fridge yeah when it comes to bring it back yeah and it's, it's, it's calling me carla mcbeal <laughs> <laughs> if the customer chooses to return a toy after a year you will take it yeah the other thing so, that they, they do blue. say is that um it's a bit like i don't know it's like some kind of weird uh like um cult or um i don't know some communist state that you you can apply to sell them of course you can you know you can apply all you want but we're not going to let you well we'll let you apply but we'll give you a million reasons why your application is unsuccessful but it's one of those you can do it but we're not going to let you do you know what i mean that kind of uh, yeah. I don't know why whenever we end up talking about Amazon, it becomes an Amazon yeah. bashing session. We're not trying to put you off, although Sean in the chat is having a nightmare at the moment. He's just said <laughs> they've sort of lost two FBA boxes. Um oh, I think I messaged you the other day. I've been there, I know Tom's been there, mm -hmm. they screwed us over on that. And I think I messaged Sean about this. Yeah. Be aware that they will find that box probably yeah. and then ask you for all the money back they've reimbursed you. So don't spend it. Don't assume you've got that money because they'll find it and want the money back. Wasn't it? Furthermore, when they find it, they'll decide you're not entitled to sell it and charge you for sending it back to you. Yeah. 
I, I think the point that you made about it, you know, ending up seeming a bit more of a negative um, chat is, is a valid one. So what I would say is you have to play it to, as much in your favor as you can. So, you know, as you guys know, I'm not into Amazon nearly as much as like Tom or, or Nick is, but the way I've started to do it is within my tolerances. So I tend to send stuff up that I'm not, I've not got much money in. Um, you know, I, I, so that automatically rules me out of the most common thing, which is mm -hmm. bulk, bulk retail arbitrage at some of the smaller margins. I can still do it if I find something cheap enough um, on the odd, odd occasion. But the chances are my bulk arbitrage um, stuff that I can send to Amazon is more likely to come from an auction or a job lot somewhere rather than going and scanning the shelves at my local Sainsbury's or Asda, where they might reduce something but they won't ever reduce it like ridiculously i mean I, it, there are odd occasions where you know lego boxes get reduced from 30 pounds to you know four pounds or whatever but that's very few and far between the chances are it normally goes from 30 to 18 or something like that and then you you can take the pun and send it in and whatever but i'm not necessarily comfortable with doing that and spending 18 pounds times i don't know 30 or 40 units um for for that reason that you know people can easily you know scam you damage whatever and and you've got no no recourse and plus they've got all that valuable stock whereas i'm happy to send in stuff that i've only got a couple of quid in yeah which i think you need to be talking me, major yeah. bulk don't you yeah to me? yeah I, I, I think it's i think it's a bit like gambling as well which i'm not a gambler but it's like high risk high reward you know if you mm. The like retail arbitrage, you can make some absolutely silly money, especially around Christmas. I mean, me and Nick, like those Chewbacca masks and stuff like that. It's almost like it seems like it should be illegal. It's that easy, but then also on the flip side, you're open to you know scamming by the customers, that sort of thing. And like if you get scammed on an item and you've only paid a quid for it, you can be like, oh, fair enough. Yeah. But if it's like if you pay sixty quid for a Lego set, you're like, ugh. Yeah. yeah, it definitely comes down to that where you sit on the risk reward sort of ratio, mm -hmm. you know. And but also, what Amazon is great for is those obscure one off like board games or CDs or whatever that you can still if you can still send them in, where you can get like 50 pounds for a board game, where on eBay you might get 20 if you're lucky. So, that side of things I, I do quite well on. But I, I, can't, I must admit, I love sending in new stock at this time of year, yeah. I, I just thoroughly enjoy it. Yeah, it's great fun just seeing it. Seeing the reaping the rewards, yeah, and I'm doing and seeing the sales come through. That's um, we're quite satisfying around this time of the year. We're doing a lot more merchant fulfilled this year with that sort of stuff. So we're keeping the stock here, and I'm, I'm feeling a lot more in control of that. And then I have options of having it listing on eBay as well. Oh, okay. Well, with advent calendars that are listed on both platforms, I've just got to keep an eye on the numbers. Yeah. That's what Falling on a bruise has asked, are they doing the raffle tonight? No, we're not doing the raffle tonight. When are we doing the raffle again? Friday. Friday. Friday, what time? 8 p.m. So oh. people oh. have all week to buy tickets. Not okay. getting in the way of uh, Zahir. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll have to pop on a bit oh. later. Maybe we'll pop on at half eight then. I yeah. completely didn't think. No. Well, when have you been? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we'll pop one later. No, no, it'll be fine. Saturday and then we switched it. When have you been yeah. going live recently? A little bit later, anyway. Yeah, we've been going live at around half eight ish, but it's no biggie. We can always pop on later after you guys. Because it, it's not like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've got it to draw like 10 or 11 numbers or whatever it is. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Cool. cool. Yeah. Um, Mike's graphic says, I sell as a seller um, and and post i don't do fba but the market is changing it's mostly selling on facebook now um i mean well that's the other thing that's just reminded me actually what mike said that you do have the option if you're not comfortable with um sending your things physically to amazon you can do um you know fulfilled by merchant can't you and you yeah. guys are, i mean i've got no experience with fulfilled by merchant so don't listen to me but i know that nick and tom both have sold that way yep yeah, and is, is it, it can be really it can be really good, especially for items that are maybe a bit uh, big and bulky, that sort of thing, and also stuff around Christmas where there's always a backlog at Christmas that your items can take like a week, ten days to be logged in, and sometimes that's the difference between selling it before Christmas and not. So, and also. 
Yeah. So it's a button again, but time sensitive stuff as well. Because like you mentioned the Chewbacca stuff. Um, did you guys f um that. fulfill that by um yeah, yourself, merch. didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. obviously when you're doing something that's so yeah, you know I, I, I was going around the Argoses and selling it on the way to the next Argos. It was ridiculous. See, I, I just didn't have the guts to do that. Yeah, See, yeah, I just, just I, 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 well, I remember yeah. I got in trouble with those, as did I think it was Joe. Joe yeah, we, yeah. we were we were reserving, let's say, ten in Argos in Luton and ten in Argos somewhere else. And so the night before, having them all pre-sold, but before the next day, and then going to pick them up. But they were people were messing it up, and staff I think were picking them out of inventory. And so I'll get to an Argos, and then they'd say, "Oh, we've only got five. You can only have five. And I'll be like crap i've sold 10 <laughs> so yeah it's it, you can get yourself in hot water yeah dangerous well i just want to say I'm, i've been doing a vlog today and i'm going to try and get some um behind the scenes footage oh, quick to look say hello <laughs> Hang on. okay oh hang on, it's pointing the wrong way oh what time um, season okay. youtuber we're, here we're now live on the tat chat say hi andrea and then if you see in the background say hi guys I this is, <laughs> this is so weird. It's like <laughs> this is like some kind of YouTube inception thing. Yeah. yeah. So and, and Carla's in there somewhere. Oh, she's not saying hello. 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 There you go. <laughs> right. Behind the what did you get in that? There you go. Hello. And I was on there as well. Nice. It was all a bit weird. I'm no end of confused. I have no idea what's happening. No idea. <laughs> Okay, that's done. So that'll appear in uh, the vlog of the week. Um, Jacques Reselling says, I'm just scared of FBA due to how people talk about it. Uh, it really isn't anyone's intention, especially like Nick and Tom. It's definitely not their, like, their um, intention or mm. like, to make it look like, a, you know, to put people off. It really isn't. It's just there is a lot more to consider um, when, when you're trusting your your inventory you know you're basically trusting your capital to 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 them you've got to be prepared for you've got to be prepared for that it's a, it's a completely different kettle of fish they work on such a bigger scale um it you know it's not often on ebay that you find an item that you're going to be in competition directly with 50 other sellers you know who've yeah. got automatic reprices and things like that yeah it's, it's the pros yeah. and cons and i think amazon prime has completely changed the game hasn't it amazon prime mm. has has blown previously i would have been like okay if i was going to do amazon i'll do fbm because i can then i don't have to pay any storage fees and then i don't have to worry about things being sent back and going missing and i don't have to wait for them and, and but then amazon prime means that i i know how i shop now if i shop on amazon I use my Prime because I'm not paying for it. Yeah, I'm going to use it, you know. So yeah. I think it's it's changed the game completely, and it's made a FBA the the way forward. But it just and you can ask more money because of that because yeah. people yeah. consciously go, oh, it's only it's only a quid more. I'll I'll get it and it'll come tomorrow. Yeah, I, I want yeah, to show, more I, I free delivery, show yeah. this for example. This is this is the kind of thing that I like Amazon for. Um, this is like a CSI reconstruction kit. Now I'm I am punting at this because only one has sold in the last year, but it sold for what is an unbelievable amount of money almost. <laughs> like I can't I I'm, I don't even want to say it because it sounds silly, but I think it sold for between three and four hundred quid, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't make that any would sense. be lovely, wouldn't it? I mean, how many? I, 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 looked, I, I read you the You need to ask yourself how yeah. many complete lunatics are there out there? Well, it's only the one a year. Only one a year. But the <laughs> thing is, I paid three quid for this. But on on eBay, you're lucky if you can get 20, 30 quid. Um, you know, um, and that, those are used though. I mean, this is like new. Uh, this is actually new, so it's like. Is it because but, the kind of people who buy them are all insecure? Well, when I say it's new, it's not fully new, so I'm going to have to send it as used, mm. like new. But it's 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 messed up like if someone paid because i looked at the keeper chart it had the price still you know at like 400 odd it was and it sold there was a massive dip in the sales rank and then you know you got that little peak and i, I looked at it a number of times and it's like that is the kind of thing you could do with amazon so you don't have you're not sending loads in you're not sending you know you're only sending a handful of things in but could be worth trying i mean i don't know yeah mm -hmm. Oh, if not, um, Phoebe said that you can now have Merchant Fulfilled Prime. Yeah, yeah. 
you can yeah. you can apply to be that but i wouldn't personally want I, to do I that i can't even get my brain around how that would work you i order on time and it arrives before i finish pressing the button uh, how well, is that going to work when it's all filled I think by it's, ba it's basically a facade it's like a fake you yeah. know they, they basically allow merchant sellers who they trust to masquerade as prime yeah. sellers yeah, yeah. Apparently, um, Amazon is releasing Super Prime. Uh, oh, so, yeah. I, I think before Christmas, when the item arrives, before you've thought about ordering it, Super Prime. and and that is next level for Christmas. Apparently, yeah. I think they've yeah. missed a missed a trick there. They should have called it Optimal Prime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Optimus Prime. Yeah, he, Prime himself delivers it. Yeah. We will just send you stuff in case you're thinking about ordering it. Yeah. yeah. And all backs are free if you don't want it. And we'll send it via a giant transforming robot. <laughs> don't bother returning it. You can have a refund for nothing. You don't have to return it because we're going to charge the seller who well, it belongs to anyway. Didn't um, I'm the legend Ash have a story about yeah, Amazon? Did, yeah. Like an insane story where he bought like an 800 pound item. Um, and he didn't receive it, so they sent out another one, yeah. and then the uh, the original one turned up, and they basically said to him, "Don't worry about it." Eight hundred quid. And the thing is, what people don't appreciate, like to us, that's like mind boggling. But I think I'm pretty certain in this that Amazon Prime is a loss making arm of Amazon. Amazon is not uh, Prime is not where they make they make their money in places that most people just aren't even aware of. Like they own half of. You know, probably the internet in terms of like servers, and you know, they they rent out their computing power. That's like where they make a lot of their money because they've got so many servers and so much power there. I think something. I mean, don't quote me because I'm I'm obviously not. I don't know about that stuff, but I've, what I've heard is Amazon Prime has been a loss making business and is still a loss making business. I've heard mm. similar things. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, so well, that's why they can just afford to write this stuff off. Like, the other yeah. thing is they don't want to make money, as crazy as that sounds, because yeah. these, I don't know what the facts are, but some ridiculous like they made like a ludicrously small amount of profit every year yeah. just to pay no little to no tax. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Le legitimately as well. They want to avoid. Yeah, well, mm. yeah, of course. So, but but I mean, okay, I'm being bashing it, but like when you get a glimpse into like the thing at Christmas, or even if you just get the buy box, I know it was before I got restricted. I bought at least fifty new and sealed DVDs, and they got a sales rank. They were like some yoga one sales rank of like 350 and sold them all in three days it was just ridiculous to like See, that's that the thing isn't it if you get the good rank in something yeah it's it doesn't feel like it's real because you you send something with a really low rank and it yeah. it weirds you out because it just just well, the, the numbers are yeah. mind-boggling i sent in do you remember i had those um build your own jet engine thing yeah i yeah. sent everything i had left up so i sent about 20 in and the rank isn't amazing. It was like about 30,000 or something like that. I sold a lot within three or four days. Wow. And, and that's got a fairly chunky rank. So you, just to extrapolate what the top 10 or top 100 toys are selling per day, it's thousands a day. Mm. It's brain boggling. That it's is... a bit to, um, yeah, I know it sounds like we bash Amazon a lot. I think definitely Tom and I have been very conscious to paint a very open picture about the pitfalls not that it's not a great place to sell stuff and make money yeah well i'd, I'd say that the pros way outweigh the cons yeah but Definitely. i just want people if you're going to try and get involved to have a very uh, clear understanding of what's involved with it that's all i'll say mm -hmm. and wow. the fact that we harp on about the negatives isn't to try and put you off it's to just furnish you with all the information about what's going to come at you when you yeah. get involved with amazon I was cross about DVD though. Yeah. Same the minute. problem is, is there's a myriad of adverts, which I'm sure everyone in the chat gets. Hi guys, can I just have 45 seconds? This is how you make money on Amazon, only two hours a week, which is total bollocks. <laughs> uh, and, you know, they're trying to paint this picture of, oh, it's so easy, you can make all this money on Amazon. And I think just the weight of all that is, is put, painting this picture that, it, you know anyone can do it it's dead easy there's no consequences you can so i'm just trying to balance that really those adverts are funny because they always show the graph i i did 20 grand this morning yeah that's the, that's turnover for a start plus yeah. anyone can make those graphs and if you're making that why are you fiddling around why are you fiddling around making poxy little adverts on youtube 
you're making that much a day it's not worth your time to make adverts and sell a course surely yeah. makes no sense sorry carlo what were you saying i said i can't make those graphs i tried anyone who's watched my sunday <laughs> chat will see my graphs well, we all know who the legend of graphs is in this chat. Let's face it. Graph King. No, but I, I think those adverts are even more sinister, though, because they tend to try to push people to do um, fulfilled by um, sorry, sorry, what's it called? Uh, private label items, yeah. don't they? So, which is an even bigger risk. I mean, FBA. If you think FBA is risky, it's nothing compared to private label. That's that's where you need really, really deep pockets because um, that's when you start ordering yeah. like ten thousand of a product that's made. And, for your yeah, and, and basically, you. yeah, and then put your you put your own um, packaging on it, and you hope to all hell and high water that the supplier you bought it off um remains loyal to you because you've bought ten thousand units and doesn't offer it for half the price to someone that's going to buy twenty thousand units off them and then who also then come onto amazon and undercut you or even worse amazon apparently have been known to suddenly sell start selling lines um that they've seen are successful because you've got to remember you're on their platform if you introduce a private label product that's new new to market with some nice packaging or it's a really useful product and it takes off and it does really well amazon can see that it's doing well because they've got all the numbers at their fingertips um and if they see it's doing well guess what's going to happen amazon is going to go and they will know every supplier in china and magically your product is then going to be sold by Amazon under some other branding or whatever with the much higher rank and all of your money, all of your investment, you know, it's at that risk. Yeah. So but the thing is, I mean, Sean's just said there, uh, says I keep watching private labeling videos. They say they make thousands. And the thing is, I'm sure there are people that are making that money, but it's these videos that, that you see on YouTube, the adverts, where they're selling the course on how you too can make that money. Yeah, and it's, it's never misleading. it's never as easy as um, that. Kenneth just said, private labels, you can make a lot of money, but seen a lot of Americans getting their items suspended because of copyright issues from bigger companies. Yeah, mm. and you can't afford to fight a lawsuit from a company who says, I've got a patent on that or whatever, and that's it. You, let's yeah. say you invest like 20 grand in getting 100,000 widgets made, mm. and then some company like Nike or something would ties, have... Ties you up with a never-ending... Yeah, see yeah. sort of this. Like, yeah. which, which they never have any intention of actually taking and completing they'll just leave it in limbo oh, yeah. but, um, again that goes back to the risk reward thing and if you if you want to put the work in and get into private label you could probably make yourself a fortune but for us in our situation the stress and the work to get to that point it's just not worth it when we can be yeah. perfectly comfortable dealing in the stuff we deal in at the level we deal in it and that that's what it comes down to for us I've had a glimpse into the lawsuit thing. I bought a portable hard drive, new from Tesco, it's like reduced. And I was going to use it for the PlayStation, didn't. I thought, oh, I'll put it on Amazon. Anyway, it was on Amazon like a week. And I get this cease and desist really like, oh, well, a thing from Amazon, a, a lawsuit thing from the company that makes them demanding where I got it from. I was like, uh, I just bought it from Tesco. You know, I took it off Amazon and and Amazon were fine with it, but the company were pestering me for ages. I, I sent them like the proof of purchase and all that, and they gave up eventually. But yeah, Jesus, we... it was full bore out of nowhere for like an eighty quid hard drive. Yeah, we had. I think I shared with you what was it we were selling from that car parts hall, and we started getting emails. Oh, yeah. Saying, was it a kit? You had like a valet kit or something. That's I think it, it was. Yeah, yeah, that was, it, was yeah. last yeah. coat. That was it. Yeah. And there's a company in the UK that has exclusive rights to sell glass coat official products. Mm -hmm. And they sent me cease and desist, like, stop selling this. We're gonna we're gonna take you to court, whatever. And yeah, I they just sent it over and over again and we carried on. I just ignored it. it all because unless they send me a letter through the post that's yeah. recorded and they say I've I've got it, I haven't seen that email. So I just carried on till I sold it all and never heard another thing. Yeah, the only reason I took it seriously is because Amazon was saying, Look, we're gonna suspend yeah. your account unless well, you yeah, if, if, so, yeah, if that, that, was, that was the reason. And why. I'm not putting out there ignore people if you yeah. get a legal I mean, email <laughs> but if we'd have had a message from ebay saying you can't yeah. sell this yeah then we, we would have stopped selling it but you yeah. know it could have been just a company trying to scare us to be honest and we only yeah. had like five yeah. or six of the things it's like is it worth yeah. your time chasing us for like 100 quids worth of gear mm. yeah mm. 
yeah, that is something you've got to be careful across all platforms, really, just for no apparent reason. And, and, and also going to that, that sometimes Amazon can decide that they don't want you to sell the product. They can discontinue a product, restrict, not restrict it, but they can deem it as hazmat is another thing which boggles the mind. I've had that happen. Uh, books before where they go yeah we think this is dangerous and this book contains a battery and yeah i, I had it on a um, i've had it on a ds game before where they they deemed it as hazardous because they thought a ds cartridge had got a lithium ion battery and just boggles the mind so but he i'll shut up it does get silly. K Kenneth says, um, I thought about private label, but I'm going to stay with FBA and just use the 20,000 and items I know will sell. Yeah, I mean, it, it, again, it's we're not saying not to do it either, but I think private label to me seems like something you would do if you were established. I mean, at the end of the day, we're talking about, they've made it into a, a course selling business, but we're talking about creating your own brand. You know, actually think about what that means, people. It is to me, it's almost laughable to the point of me wanting to smack my head on this table when you see so many adverts coming on, like just start private. Oh, it's as easy, private labor. You know, building your own brand, people. It's not. Mm. It takes yeah. more money than buying the just the widget. The, the widget is the cheapest part, probably. You know, the real money is going to be in in advertising, the design, and the the the, the getting your name out there. It's you know, the so-called yeah. get rich quick scheme, and that's why yeah. everyone and his mother is trying to sell you a course. Yeah. And as Donkey just said, yeah. those nicks come up on all your videos, Nick. And I'm sure they do. <laughs> yeah. I see them when I click on like Zahir's or Tom's yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Those uh, adverts. Oh. Um, but it's just the new get rich quick thing that everyone's latching onto. But I'm not sure it is particularly get rich. Yeah. quick if get rich at all, but that's only my opinion. Baz Wright says, I work with China every day. Trademark in China is different to the UK, so they can le they can do it legally. What, what, what was that in regards to? Steve Green says he's already a brand. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, Steve is a... It was, speaking of which, Steve, when's your merchandising range coming out? Because we're expecting it, you know, the Steve St Green hoodies and with just the beard on, yeah, yeah just the beard, yeah, just the like beard, the, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, how many would of us would actually buy that? I probably would buy that actually. Yeah. Well, what if it, what if you was... know what I want? I want a Steve Green T-shirt with the beard printed here, yeah. and then the Nick and Tom nipple tassels printed here. <laughs> I want that. I want to own that. Or, or, or I'd definitely get a tea teapot corner one. Just like you know, bunch yeah. of teapots. Yeah, you know, got tea. we, we haven't got ourselves organised, but we had a couple of like reselling slogan T-shirts that we were trying to sell on merch and having very yeah, limited you, success. You with. Said, oh, definitely for Christmas. But but, we were going to um, get some like real, real not you know merch T-shirts, some actual physical ones, and and try and market those. But we just mm. haven't had the time really. I was going to yes. say while we've got you on, what have oh. you been up to this week, dear? What have I been up to this week? Well, yeah, Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, I made a video today. Oh yeah. Um, which <laughs> it kind of goes backwards because Monday we went into town to try and sell Ellen's phone, which CEX wouldn't buy, um, and ended up going charity shopping instead. So I got why would they not buy the phone? Oh, they said that um, there was a tiny dink which we could barely see. It needed a magnifying glass, and they don't buy it with a scratch on it. What I thought that was the whole point of their grade. Yeah. That's just bonkers. I don't think so. it's too bothered. You know when they're too busy in there and they just can't be bothered yeah. to check yeah. a phone. Um, so <laughs> we'll, we'll stick it on eBay and get some. It's of an that. iPhone, right? Yeah. 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 I would have thought but they would. We we actually bought it in there yeah. in exactly the same condition. Yeah, for the her same, birthday last. The year. same shop. Anyway. So she's only had it a, well less than a year. But, maybe um, maybe that's what it is. Maybe they've got like the numbers all written down somewhere and they don't buy back what they've sold. No, they didn't even no? check the thing. They yeah. just kept yeah. oh, I think they were just being lazy, mate. Right? Oh right, okay. It was just one of those no, no there's a okay. Yeah. Well, you think... said yes to start with, and then you were getting your membership card out well, and everything. And then yeah, the manager then... guy came over and just went, No, oh, mm, oh nah. Mm. Nah, I don't oh. want it. Anyway, so they ended up, uh, ended up buying stuff in charity shops. So I did a haul today. Oh, it's a haul video. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I've done some cutaways again. So um, I worked out that I can sort of, um, you know, what's it called? Multitask. Two things at once. But I was uh, trying to think of a different. Thinking phrase. and talking, you can't quite I can't do think right now. Talk. I mean, basically, 
Um, <laughs> so I worked out I could do all my eBay photos at the same time as I could do my video. <laughs> so I've done two things at once. So you're modeling your clothes in your eBay photos then? Yeah. Some of these. Ooh, okay. Yeah. And oh, Baz is just clarifying that it was um, China copy products. If you do not have trademark in China, it's separate to UK trademark. However, you won't be able to sell in the UK. So if you do come up with your own private design label item, you've got to make sure you're covered out there as well. So Yeah. Um, don't get me started ranting on CEX though, Nick. If you think I'm owned by Amazon, you know, <laughs> I'll be on for another two hours moaning about them So. Didn't they throw you out and ban you, Tom? Oh, yeah, but I've been banned. I'm still banned from one CEX shop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a row with a CEX manager. Well, not a row. She was just being a... Can't say that word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and Carla, what have you been up to? What exciting <laughs> things are going on in Carla land right now? Oh, I wouldn't say they're exciting. Sacks of clothes from the charity shop. I've... um. Sweet talk to manager at the local charity shop, and she's selling me sacks of clothes for a tenner a piece, which is lovely, apart from the fact that... I don't enjoy listing them because I didn't choose them. It's a strange phenomenon, 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 phenomenon. Yeah, totally. Well, those words you can start saying, but you're not quite sure where to stop. If you didn't select the items yourself, you don't love them. So it's not that they're not perfectly good items. They are. They're perfectly good items. I wouldn't be buying them otherwise. But I'm like, ah, oh, I can't be bother with this. So I've got, I had five sacks of clothes in the boot of the car on uh, Friday, and three of them are still there now. <laughs> Because if I don't bring them in the house, then I can pretend they don't exist. Could it also be the fact that they're in a giant sack and it's just... I think that's it as well, yes. You, know, like you have to actually sorted. start, like, yeah. It's not like neat, because you could you might have just picked out, like, five or ten items. Yeah, and yeah it's, it's the fact they're in a sack. They've got to be sorted. They've got to be gone through. They're, like I said, it is good stuff. She's, um, we, 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 she's giving me the good stuff that she's pulling off the shop floor, not the stuff that she hasn't even put on the shop floor in the first place you know what i mean because so you don't want goes to the, the yeah you don't want the ragman stuff yeah, that's exactly you don't want the oh well the primark and everything that she that she doesn't think is worth selling she's given me the stuff that she did think was worth selling but hasn't sold and how so long it's have not you been um, how long have you been communicating with this manager before you've struck that deal just out of interest i like, mentioned to her probably over a year ago I, I, I said to her what do you do with your you pull-offs because this is a small chain of charity shops you know i know that most of the charity shops send their stuff round to a different store don't they so but i thought i'd say to her one day what do you do and it's, it's particularly nice stuff in these there's um there's a break there's a st peter's hospice and they're really nice stuff the st peter's hospice is overpriced i can't afford to shop in there but so i thought i'd mention it to her and i said what do you do with your stuff she said oh well usually we send it on to another shop why do you ask and i said oh i just i would be interested in bulk buying your 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 shop floor stuff you haven't sold and she said, oh no i think i have to send it all on and a good eight or nine months passed and i go in there once a week because it's on the way to my parents house and one day she said to me was you who asked me that day about um pulling the stock and i said yeah and she I might have some stuff you're interested in. And since ah. then, I've had yeah. Since then, I've had about ten sacks oh offer, and it is good stuff. And it's you know, it's, See, I, I think that's a really lovely. good story because it just shows the the graft you've got to put in for this. You know that, yeah, to keep that when on kind when of... when you build these relationships, because sometimes I think it comes across as like you know when when people share that I oh, I I get my stock this way or that way. You've got to put the groundwork in people. And like Carla's story there, I think is it, I think yeah. So it wasn't a case yeah. of just going and asking and her saying, oh yes, come on. Over here, come, it's all waiting. Come in, it's all, yeah. <laughs> so a, a year or going me, in. Now she yeah. rings me and says, "I've just yeah. pulled a load of stuff off. Do you want it?" So yeah, so that's fantastic. Also, because you you said you you go in there once a week, so you're a regular, friendly face. Yeah, and that's half the battle there. Yeah, yeah. I don't ever, I don't ever haggle. I don't argue about the price of the stuff on the shop floor. I even when I'm going in to pick up the sacks, I also go around the shop and buy a few individual things as well. So. Yeah, so I think it's a very... someone who who spends money, who is trustworthy, yeah. who's going to come in every week, and that's yeah. half the battle, I would imagine. I yeah. noticed that Heather said in there that she agreed, and what was it she was saying? If it's not an item you've picked, you're not. Uh, yeah, I totally agree. She said, "Agree, Carla. If you choose it, you have a connection yeah, to it." Absolutely. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I, I said, "There's nothing wrong with this stock, but I'm having to force myself to list it because I don't love it." I was just thinking, could you like then almost wholesale it off? you know do like small sort of wholesale boxes. i am doing that with the stuff that i don't feel is worth an individual sell so it's not that it isn't good stock it's just that if i think i'll only sell it for 7.99 8.99 i'm bundling so i'm doing i'm doing 
boxes of 10 to 15 items, selling as a bundle job, a lot of that stuff. And that, it, again, it's, it's Marks and Spencer and stuff like that. So it's not as if it's Primark, Tesco, B&M or whatever, you know, it is good stuff. And then I'm, I'm pulling out the the what the brands that i would normally look for anyway and selling those individually so i mean i'm, I'm getting stuff like jack wills and white stuff and all the stuff that we would normally go and go oh yes i might buy that is is coming through in these bags as well as the other stuff so but it's a but it's work in pro it's something you've um built and i think that's really i think that's just a cool thing to share because it does take time doesn't it you know becoming familiar like you said you know becoming known to her and then and getting there yeah and just hope she doesn't leave as well because that happened to me i built up a rapport with a local charity shop and then she she got some massive inheritance and then decided she didn't <laughs> need to work so i was like oh, <laughs> oh no really good books from there as well <laughs> like bell in the chat has said um do i to, to ask me specifically yeah. do i ever donate stuff to a charity shop that i bought in another one yes i do quite often if i go through stuff and decide i'm not going to start after i take to take it back to a different charity shop i don't tend to take it back to the same one i feel like that's a bit <laughs> and and please say button again button 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 do i say button in an unusual way uh i don't know button. <laughs> um, can, can everybody say button please button 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 yeah. button, button. Yeah. What has this fact become? What has this become, people? Uh, yeah. Kevin asks, and can you just go back up because it's disappeared now? Yep, yep, hold on. Um, how much does an EU to UK plug adapter cost in the UK? Depends where you buy it. In the airport, about 12 quid. <laughs> you know, down Wilkinson's Pound about in Poundland. Pound. They've yeah. had 59p in Wilkinson, I think, because I bought one last time I went away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very little, Kenneth. But if 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 you buy it in the airport, as we ended, we ended up buying an American one in the airport because we yeah. somehow forgot to take one with us, and yeah, we got fleeced. Ouch. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm sure if we'd have got to the hotel and just said, "Oh, have you got one of them doodly what's it?" they'd have just given us one to use. But we bought. I'd one. love to know what they'd have given us if we'd have asked for, asked doodly, for doodly what's doodly it. What's it? <laughs> Hi there, we're from the UK. You got one of those doodly what's it, please? <laughs> yeah, that would have gone down well. <laughs> Okay, well, believe it or not, we are now an hour and ten in. Wow. So I think we'll think about wrapping this one up. I'm um, mm-hmm. just going back to the raffle. The raffle is not tonight. I'm sorry if the title was misleading. Uh, we are going to draw the numbers. Clickbait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got the numbers on um, Friday. We're going to go live just before Zahir and Beck. Sorry for the clash on that, Zahir. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go live at eight, uh, should be all wrapped up within half an hour. All we've got to do is randomly draw a bunch of numbers. So if you do want to get involved, try and get your, uh, donations in before, uh, well, by Thursday night, let's say. So the, t- the processing will have gone through by Friday and yeah, that's it. All the details on the reseller charity auction page. I'm going to put all the links for that below after the videos. Oh. Uh, is it is not sure. me? Oh, did we... oh it, you froze, yeah. it was really weird because yeah, I it was like I was still moving and you guys froze and then oh. I don't know if any of that came out what I just said then that whole no. speech. I heard it all fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe it was just my internet. No, it froze for me as well. If we're actually user. Oh weird. Go oh, on, Andrew, what strange. were you saying? Um Kenneth said, Did you like the beer? Well, there's none left, put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, that's very nice. Thank and you. And Aaliyah wants to know when Tom will be broadcasting his CAX, CEX rant. Oh, I, I'm going to be filming it soon. I'm just editing the um, the intro part at the moment. I'm just. Will, will it come with a rating or a warning? Sometimes? Oh, it, it's it's it will be an age restricted video, and it, there won't be any adverts on it. The following video contains scenes of a violent nature. Yeah. Yeah. The YouTube algorithm will swiftly swiftly remove them. Yeah. After the thirty eighth F word. Yeah. <laughs> May contain slightly made up backward swear words that no one's heard of before, but so <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh gosh. I mean, it, to be fair though, Tom, like you know, a couple of people have been commenting. I think this, um, yeah. some, uh, it was it M J the collect. Was it MJ Games mentioned in the chat that you know she or he given up on um uh on on CEX for for you know they well, buy games online yeah yeah and the fake ones but yeah. uh, to sum it up today uh, I got um I, I spent nearly nine hundred pounds on the laptop and it turned up and the screen is absolutely shagged it's just messed <laughs> up. Oh, God. 
Oh, I you bought that online? It. I didn't realise you bought it online, Tom. Yeah, what, did, yeah. what did you buy? A uh, MacBook Pro. And it's all scuffed up to... Yeah, the screen is messed up. Oh, is this like a grade A, according to them? No, it's a grade C. So. But still, it shouldn't be like that the screen's... Yeah, yeah. so oh, I'm pretty livid. I can imagine. This is the second laptop I've had from The first one I got in store, and it was a PC. I got back, and the Windows um, on it was attached to some business somewhere, so I couldn't use it. It was like, oh, God. Guys, really. That's basics, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Well, that was a little preview to that get you get your get you going there, guys, because you can tell he was <laughs> literally the rage. You could tell he was just holding it in. I could see his Same face rippling. I, I could literally see your face rippling, Tom. It was like the rage was underneath. Are the same as these. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. just like the yeah, guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this channel or Tom's is ever going to get sponsored by CEX. What do you reckon? Advertising before the video being CEX's. I just wanted to say another big thank you to Kenneth, who is still in the chat for the box of goodies. Um, I'm going to enjoy munching my way through these. Most, I think, yeah. you won't be able I to think eat. Ellen unfortunately, will help you. my daughter Ellen will be helping me. So he thank you so much. He was saying that this soda is really nice. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you can have the soda. Can you drink? Yeah. Can you drink? That's vegan I th friendly. I think you can. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> so yeah, really appreciate the thought, Kenneth. Definitely, yeah, definitely. I'm going to enjoy some skilled padder. <laughs> You got you got out of the skills pattern. I mean, you know. The question is, are you going to eat it while saying nothing, looking at the camera? That's the what everyone wants. <laughs> that to was do. really, if, really unsettling. If I do that, I'll probably do it on my other channel. Oh, there's Alf in the Alf. background. Oh. Alf wants to come in and eat your skills pattern. Oh, 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 look at his little face. Stay away. Oh. No, don't fall for it, guys. <laughs> Let him in and share your skill pattern no, with him, whatever it's, it's it was. A, it's a trick. Don't fall for it. Oh, Funny. look. <laughs> He's winking at you. Bless his little cottons. <laughs> okay, well, on that, we're going to leave you there. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for your questions and comments in the side chat. If you enjoy these videos, please give us a thumbs up. We're here every Tuesday. At the moment, it's revolving between myself and Zaheer. But we were going to try and start spreading it around other channels. We need to talk about that. Um, we'll see you on Friday, 8 o'clock, to draw the raffle just before Zaheer and Beck go live. Oh, apparently Skill Padder oh. is turtles. I just saw that, yeah. I just saw that. Turtles. Like, turtles. Going to eat little chocolate If it contains turtles. actual turtles, that's, that's Andrea definitely out on that thing one. Is, it's, it's, it's like it, all, all the stuff comes out. It's like you're buying into their shell and then all the... <laughs> Is that a cream egg? Yeah, like, is it kind of a cream yeah, it's egg? Like a cream egg. Well, it, it, it's got caramel and some kind of cream. So you're going to just bite into its shell and all this stuff. Yeah, I'll go for that. I didn't bother me. Oh, but... oh, I feel like we should do a live and just, just taste them think, together. I think here. you should. I think you should, definitely. Live tasting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you ever so much, Kenneth, and everybody who's joined us live. Thanks to my guests, who Carla, thank you. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. And Tom? Yeah, they were sorry it was a bit late, but that's all right. I'll see you all on Friday. And, and don't forget the shirt is available. And that is, your yeah. choice of whether you're slightly sweaty. Hustle for that, bro. Wash or whether you don't as well. What does it say underneath, Tom? What does your t shirt say underneath? Uh, Hustle for that Brussels. For that oh, Brussels. No, then you've got one underneath. Oh, uh, it's from a nightclub in Ibiza. Oh, <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just, it's. It's a tad see-through, and I don't think that YouTube's quite ready for that, and I didn't want <laughs> you to get demonetized. So. I'm ready. Yeah. I'll send you them pictures later, Carl. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Fantastic. And thank you, as ever, to Zaheer. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Oh, and Andrea. Yay! Unexpected <laughs> guest. Yeah. So, cheers, guys. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Bye. 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 Take care.